Hi, it's Manny Baker with the Baker Team from Roller Page. Welcome. Hello, Switch Kellogg with the Baker Team Roller Page. Hey, welcome back to our weekly episode to highlight Royal Luxury Home. And the Baggot team is dedicated to deliver every week a new content. That's is that right. right, absolutely. So this week we are talking about Spice Kitchens. Spice Kitchen and Spice Kitchen. And the Spice Kitchen has a way different name. People say Spice Kitchen, people say Chef Kitchen, and there's another third word. It's called Walk Kitchen. People call it Walk Kitchen. Yeah. Wow. And it's called Dirty Kitchen as well. <laughs> yeah. okay. So those are there's so many names are there, but we are clarifying that what is the importance for a secondary kitchen in the main floor? Am I right, Research? Uh, That's right. I mean, uh, at the end of the day, but some clients want that specifically. Other clients that have come through, especially this show, are shocked. They're like, why is there a kitchen in the pantry? Okay. So there is a little bit of confusion around it. Okay. Um, uh, like I said, it could be a good thing or a bad thing. It really depends on the client and what they're looking for. All right. But, but again, I, I wanted to clarify to you, a lot of people, it doesn't matter even the high-end properties I saw that, there's a secondary kitchen that's right. coming. More popular and popular every time we can go see it. For sure. But I understand that this, this homes are, you're in, in range of somewhere 650 to $850,000, but yeah. you still have that option. Yes. So would you mind if you can clarify to all the audience who is watching there that, hey, what is the benefit for a spice kitchen having it? Or what is not having it? So, so how are you going to clarify that question? It, well, in my personal opinion, okay. um, I, I love a spice kitchen. But in my personal opinion, it's because for big gatherings, for okay. socializing, okay. a house that's built like this for entertaining with a big island, okay. the spice kitchen allows you to maintain cleanliness in the main kitchen. That's mainly why people like having a spice kitchen, especially if you socialize a lot or you want to have people over. One of the biggest things that people use it for is to keep extra the cooking and the mess over there so cleanliness is really the biggest thing okay so i'm going to simplify the viewers are who are watching right now what such is trying to say that hey having a spice kitchen or not having a spice kitchen there is a pros and there's a con so let's discuss all the pros first is that correct yeah so let's move to let's spice kitchen. take a look at the spice kitchen Absolutely. Itself. so we we can we can showcase that with a part of this uh, this house so this house does have a full Chef kitchen, spice kitchen, or extra kitchen, or dirty kitchen, or whatever that you can name it. So, so such highlight to us the three pros and three cons. So, let's if I have this spice kitchen, what will be the three pros? So, let's talk about that. So, the three pros the first one I just mentioned to you earlier, the biggest one for me is cleanliness. Okay, because in here now, especially if there's a social function, cooking can mostly be done here. Okay, and more importantly, the dishes. Uh huh, when we have social functions, dishes are gonna pile up. And if there's no spice kitchen, they're gonna pile up on the main island. And if you've ever had a social gathering, you know people end up all surrounding the island. That becomes the hub of the party. Correct. So a second kitchen allows any mess going on during any social functions to be put into a separate room called the spice kitchen. That's number one for me, which is cleanliness. So cleanliness. That's, that's right. That's a, that's a number one good thing to have this spice kitchen. Okay. That's right. Let's, let's do that. Do number two. Secondly, this is more of a day to day thing. Okay. But when people are cooking, I mean, in our East Indian community, I know some of the Oriental uh, culture as well. That's what's called a spice kitchen or block kitchen. But some of the cooking can be very smelly, right? Okay. Yeah, and so if on. the main kitchen is being used for that, that smell is going to go all the way through all this open space as well as into the second floor. Okay. The spice kitchen allows you to block it off. So if you notice we have a door here and a door here, yeah. very tight space, wood fan is here. So any cooking that results in any sort of smell is going to be sucked out and it's going to be kept away from the main house. So point number two is really the sound. So, so it means so it deodorizes the whole home. Absolutely. So it means your home stays fresh. more clean, yes. fresh, and then all your cookings are still here. You you block them off with this Absolutely. door and this door, and cook whatever you want to do. Leave everything in here. Shut down if somebody guests come. You entertain them outside, and everything's inside. Everything's inside. Wow. That's right. I I am I'm very impressed to have that second pros. And what is the third pro? Will be having this kitchen. It wouldn't be for me so much, but some. Okay. People are very good at cooking. They're good chefs. Okay. And if you've got multiple things on the go, or maybe a sauce, 
versus some vegetables versus some pasta. There's multiple things happening. If you're a good chef, you want to prepare and serve the food all at the same time, even though they might require different heats and different cooking. So this gives you additional stoves, stove tops to work with. Some st uh, spice kitchens, you can even have an additional oven. In this case, we have two stove tops in this uh, show home. So then you can have cooking going on here, cooking going on there, all different temperatures, all different things happening. So that when it's time to serve, everything's ready at its own temp that it needs to be. Wow. So the preparation is very handy if cooking is something you really enjoy. Fantastic. So what does that mean for all the viewers at this moment that you have a pros that you have two stoves, you might have two ovens, you might have two fridges, you might have two dishwasher and you have might two sinks. So it means you have a double the capacity to entertain and look Absolutely. after all the guests, all yes. your all, all your people to visit to come to your home. Is that correct? Absolutely. Yeah. All right, so that is a fantastic. So you give me three pros. Mm -hmm. So now I want to know three cons. So if somebody don't have it, or you have mm -hmm. it, but then then what will be the other benefit of this thing? Well, the first obvious one, of course, is expense. <laughs> it's going to cost more to yeah. have two kitchens okay. than if you just have one kitchen. Okay. Right? Um, secondly, uh, for some people, that kitchen has actually gone into the area that's called the pantry. Okay. So because there's a stove and there's a sink and sometimes even additional things in a spice kitchen, that takes away room from the pantry. There's okay. less storage space available. Okay. That's that's very obvious. Right? So so the number one, you are telling me that that a lot of people complain that yes, I have a benefit of spice kitchen or chef kitchen. Now I have a less storage area or yes. less pantry space where I can put my my all the groceries or my cutlery or whatever that you can make. That's right. So okay, so that's number one. What is will be the the second con will be? Um, well, no, number one is expense. We'll come back to expense at the end. Okay. So number one, the storage space is for us. The second, second major thing that I've actually come across is people like spice kitchens. They like buying them, especially I've, I've met a lot of young couples who buy homes with spice kitchens. And after talking to them one or two or three years down the line, they realize they only use one. So they usually, all their cook, not just the dirty cooking, but every cooking, all the cooking has been done in the Spice Kitchen. And this main kitchen is brand new. They've never used any of it. So that's a good thing, it's clean. But they look back and they say, such, I don't know how practical it is because I'm only using one kitchen all the time. Do I really need to? So that's one thing is people find that in a practical sense, they're not making use of two kitchens. Obviously, I understand that because if your husband, wife, and two kids, yeah. you're not going to use all the time two kitchens, and That's you're right. not going to use two stoves on the yeah. same time. Yeah. You're not using two dishes, yeah. dishwasher. Yeah. I get that because because you're 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 having two features, so you're getting used to using one. Yeah. Right. So other ones just come back as an overhead. Yeah. Exactly. Got it. So that's that's number two. So all the audience are watching. So we so it's already giving you three pros, and we already got two cons. So what is the third one? Third one, I mentioned it briefly, but it's expense, right? At the end of the day, it's gonna cost more. Um, you're gonna have, obviously, the additional stove, usually is standard if it's a spice kitchen and a sink, but you could add in a fridge. Okay. People want a fridge in there sometimes. Okay. You could add in a dishwasher. Absolutely. Uh, you could add in an oven. So all the, not just the construction of it is gonna cost a little bit more, obviously, but the appliances themselves are gonna become that additional expense. I agree because think think this way. So if you have a cheapest appliances yeah. package for six seven thousand dollars outside, so you're gonna spend another six to seven thousand yeah. dollars more for inside. So that's a double expense. Right. So it, it depends. Somebody, if you're utilizing, good. Yes. But if you're not utilizing, just like you tell me earlier in, in your uh, second yeah. house, then it means it's like a redundant. You're just wasting the money. That's right. Yeah. Okay, so the, all the audience who are watching right now regarding that spice kitchen, chef kitchen, or walk-in kitchen, or dirty kitchen, whatever that means, maybe hopefully this will help you to determine what is the three pros and what is the three cons. Yeah. So at the very end, I, I, you give me a very, very good analogy about that spice kitchen. You explained to me very well. I wanted to now, as a layman, think if somebody comes to you and says, hey, such. I wanted to build a spice kitchen. Yeah. What, you, what is what is the budget they are looking at it to to have it? What is the minimum to maximum budget they can have it to I, build? It, it will it will depend, of course. But if you want a range that's mostly accurate, Correct. it'd be in the range of roughly minimum fifteen thousand. Okay, you got to put some appliance in there at least. There's slightly higher construction costs. The builder's going to put some work into it. Mm -hmm. um, you got to make sure that it's going to fit nicely. You can't just shove it in anywhere. Correct. So the space requirement, all that, fifteen thousand upwards to about thirty thousand. If you want a full blown spice kitchen with all the appliances, all the features, like a, literally a second kitchen, it, it can go up to thirty thousand. 
Absolutely. So hopefully you guys can getting a benefit out of this episode we recorded today, especially for the request, because every week we pick a top question of the week that we answer this question because such is so knowledgeable and he has a, so much knowledge in this industry which he can answer all your questions so if it does please comment below who, before you can end up this one and hopefully if this video you really think that valuable for somebody in your family please share and yes. subscribe right yeah because we are coming next week again we are coming next week we're gonna same thing we do every week we're gonna take the questions we're getting at the show home, what people are saying as they come through and we're gonna put it into a video this past week i had three people walk through and they were shocked to see a kitchen in the pantry so that's why we thought we'd answer some of these questions today well but i wanted to before i can go royal luxury home has this standard in pretty much all the homes in in this this show home especially in another some of the other ones this feature does have include but if you don't like it hey come see search right. and then he can answer all your questions so what where you can meet and where they can contact you 5204 kimball crescent southwest we're in classic that's our show home regular show home hours three to eight most days except friday as well as 12 to 5 on the weekends and of course, you can reach me at 587-870-2737 or just comment below. I will definitely get in touch. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stay tuned for next week and also subscribe and hit the bell button so you can notify every week whatever our new content or new video is coming on this video channel. Thank That's you right. so much. Thank you. Love you guys all. See, See you next week. Bye now.